When you first open the View Edit Data screen, it's blank. And that's because we need to know what kind of data you want to see before we can show it to you. So first thing first, what truck or trucks are you looking to review? I'm going to pick just one unit. The next thing we need to know are the dates you want to see data for. So we've got this drop down menu that has the quarters in it already. And you can select your quarter and it will automatically fill in the dates or you can manually input your dates here. Next we have the states. So you can look at data based on a single state or all the states. Now this is going to come in handy because you've probably got a lot of data in your system and looking at it all of once is unnecessary. If you can zero in on something specific, that will make finding a data element much easier. So now that I've selected the data that I want to see, I'm going to click search and it just takes a moment before my data is available. And now that it's here, there's a lot that I can do with it. First of all, these column headings are sortable. So by clicking on any of them, I can change the way the data is organized. The default here will always show things in date order, but if you've got more than one truck, that's not always the clearest way to look at the data. So it's nice to be able to sort it yourself. Second, I can click this pencil here, and it will allow me to edit any single line of data. Now it's important to note that this is not a calculation screen. So if I change an odometer reading, I might also need to adjust the mileage. The computer is not going to do that for you automatically. Now as you can see, there is a lot of information here. So let's start at the top. The ID number is a unique number assigned to each line of data entry. It will come in handy when you're running diagnostics. The truck number, you know, date, state, odometer, miles, fuels you know. The city and description are also pretty self-explanatory. Then we have this section here for exempt miles, fuel, unladen miles, and toll roads, which will come in handy in states like Oregon. Then we've got your fuel type and finally the process information. This process information is going to show you who entered this data and when they entered it. Now, if you just wanted to see it, then clicking the pencil and then clicking cancel would let you see all the full detail. But if you made a change, please make sure you save it before you move on. You can also add a new line of data to the screen. This comes in handy when you find that one thing is missing and you just want to add it quickly. I don't recommend this as your main data entry tool though because it's just not as fast as the other tools we have available. At any time you like, you can also change the parameters of your search. So for example, let's make sure that there's no gaps for this truck between the end of last quarter and the beginning of this quarter. So let's change the dates. Let's try 10, 1, 2015 through 11, 30, 2015 and click search again. And you can see here I have no data for October. So obviously there's a gap here. Obviously something is missing. So there's a lot that you can do by customizing your view of the data. And of course you can always reset your search and start from scratch just by clicking reset. Now one last pro tip for anybody who is still with us on this video um, is this ID line. When you're e-filing and you get your diagnostic report it's going to reference this ID number and it's going to tell you exactly by ID number where there are problems in your data and that will make it extremely easy to find. You'll learn more about that on the video about diagnostics.